Good day and welcome back to Forex Meet Simple. In this video, we are going to be learning about what I call smart orders. So what are smart orders? Uh, these are basically a set of conditions that you give to MetaTrader or whatever tool you are using to trade. Uh, basically, this is you saying to the tool, look, I might not be around when this happens, but if you see this, 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 and this, put me in for a sell or put me in for a buy. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So basically, that's your buy limit, your sell limit, your buy stop and your sell stop. So this video is going to thoroughly explain uh, these four smart orders and you are going to understand them by the end of this video. And this video was requested by one of our subscribers. So if you have a Forex concept that you would like to understand, and I really appreciate you guys sending through this video request. So if you also have a video request, you can send it through on the comments, then I'll attend to it. Let's get to the video. Now let's get started with smart orders. So yes, yes, what a sell limit looks like. So basically, as you can see, price went up and a bit down. And as a, as a double top trader, at this point, I would expect price to come up and complete that double top formation, which looks like an M, right? So, as you can see at the moment, the pattern is not yet completed. But as a trader, you should be an anticipating this if you are a double top trader. So, so the main idea behind smart orders is that you are not going to be uh, by your chart all the time. So if I see something like this, I'm gonna put my sell limit right on top because I know that there's a possibility of price coming up and going down to complete that double top formation. So as you can see, basically a sell limit says, if price touches this point, I'm expecting price to reverse to the downside. So basically that that's what a sell limit is. And if this doesn't make sense at the moment, uh, just hold on. It's going to make sense when we open MetaTrader and actually do a sell limit. And if this doesn't make sense at the moment, you just have to hold on for a few seconds. When we get to MetaTrader, you're going to fully understand what I mean. And sell stop on the other end says that if prices goes down and pass a certain point, I want to be in for a sell. So basically, you can see we had this move to the downside and then price played around and created this double top formation again. So as you can see, price went down and then played around. As a trader, I, I can see this an impulsive move. And then after this consolidation or correction or whatever you call this, I'm expecting price to continue because like this shows that bulls are very strong. So I'm expecting that after price crosses this line, it's going to go to the downside. And then what you do is you basically place a sell stop here. And then so on the other hand, sell stop says, if price passes a certain point going downwards, I'm expecting price to continue going downwards, right? So in this case, you can see we have a impulsive move down and then some play around. And then we're expecting price to push down again. What you basically do, you put a sell stop right here on the white line. Then what that means is that once price is broken out, of that uh, consolidation zone, you are going to be in for a sell. Now let's look at buy smart orders. So for a buy limit, it's basically the same as sell limit. It's just that it's upside down. So as you can see, price went down. As a double bottom trader, I'm expecting price to go down before it goes up to, to, to complete that uh, double bottom formation, which looks like a W. So I'm expecting that when price touches this uh, resistance zone, it's going to bounce back up. 
So what you do, you place your buy limit here. And then when price gets here, you're going to be tapped in for a buy. And then when it turns, you're going to be in for a buy. So basically, you place your buy limit order here. And then when price goes down and touches the point where you put the buy limit, you're going to be tapped in for a buy. And then when price goes up, you're going to be in for the trade. So with a buy stop, it's similar to a sell stop. It's a continuation, right? So at this point, you can see we are on an uptrend. And then we're expecting price to continue to the upside. So with this one, we have a trend line here. And I would want to enter after the breakout of that trend line. So basically with this one, I place my buy stop somewhere here. So that if price breaks out of this trend line, I'm going to be tapped in for a buy. So the main difference here is that you're expecting price to go down, then up. Here you're expecting price to go up, then up. Uh, now let's do a quick recap. So as you've seen, limits are for reversals. You're expecting price to reverse after it touches a certain point. And then this is for aggressive traders and it will give you sniper entries of course and then stops are for continuation so basically what you're saying with the stop is that if price passes this certain point it will continue going on that direction and this is for reserve traders like me and as a result you're gonna get safe entries as compared to limits now let's go to meta trader then i can show you how to do it so back in the days to to set the, the smart orders we used to come to calls and then select the pair you want and then say new order then instead of market execution because market execution is the one where if i press buy now i'm in for a buy uh, but in our case we want uh we want to select any of these four orders so I can just say buy limit, then I'll have to remember the, the prices for the stop loss and stuff like that. But I like the new way that MetaTrader implemented not so long ago. If I come to this pair and say chart, uh, there's this new icon up here that if I click, automatically shows me uh, this thing to select the price and then I can select different uh, different smart orders uh, so let's start with the buy limit let's say somehow I believe price gonna pull back and then uh, and then continue up so I simply click on this icon and then I can put my buy limit right where i think price is gonna touch before going up and at the bottom you see this buy limit stop loss and profit so if i click stop loss it's gonna allow me to put where i want my stop loss so i can say here and then it's gonna ask me for take profit i can put where i want my take profit so up there and then if you click this it takes you to this screen it has already put the prices for you then all you need to do is to select uh, the lot size that you want. And then you just say place once you're it. Let's look at a sell stop. So on this pair, let's say I'm uh, anticipating price to go all the way to the downside. But at the same time, I don't want to enter before it has broken out of this resistance zone. Here. So what I will do is that I will put a sell stop right below this this uh this resistance basically when price gets to my sell stop i'm gonna be in for a sell then i can set my stop loss up here maybe then my take profit down here and then there i have my order i just have to place it 